Right, so I made this a couple of days ago and I just deleted it because I finally potted them and I thought, you know what, it looks better potted and it's easier to show. So I, if you never watched a video of mine, I have 15 months of this indoor gardening going on. And in 15 months, I had six strawberries in the other room. And from those six strawberries, I'm up to somewhere between 91 and 94. Yes, you heard that right, 91 and 94. And this is one reason. Now last month I had one plant giving three babies at the same time, which was a first, while the baby was giving babies. But so far this is a record. This is absolutely strawberry morphed. So here's the original plant, which is pretty much a baby itself. It can't be more than two months old. And if you see down here, it's just one plant. But what I noticed, first it put out this really long baby and the baby is now producing a baby, which I gotta figure out how the heck I'm gonna pot this. Like, um, I don't feel that this is rooted too strongly yet, so I'm not gonna cut it yet. Um, as you can tell, it takes indoors, it takes a lot of room to do this. So, just a few days ago, I had saw, like this one started to grow, and then I noticed, I said, wait a second, this looks a little odd. So when I went down here, if you can see this here, right there, that goes up into this, this nice big leaf, right? That's actually separate from this guy right here. That's like another big solid branch, if you can kind of see it goes in there, into the regular plant. And I thought, well, that's bizarre. I've never seen a branch. It like branched out and then it grew upright. It almost looked like it was gonna be a baby, but it didn't. It produced like, you know, an upright plant. But it's part of the same, the same structure, the same, uh, I don't know what it's called, the stem or, the, you know, the base. So anyway, it produced two more out of there, as you can see. So this plant has got one, two, three, four, and then this guy over here is producing. I wouldn't doubt it if those do it. A lot of times, I'd say at least 50% of the time, the babies happen. Like the babies come out of babies. So that one strawberry is producing four babies at a time. I had two plants that done three babies at a time, and I had many, many plants that did two babies at a time. So you can see how fast six can turn into 90 plus in 15 months. That's a year and three months. Um, and I don't know what the percentages of, of my plants did that. It was just, I'll give you an idea what's going on when you see the rest of them. But I wanted to share that with you. And if anybody comes across this and is like kind of professional on strawberries and been doing them for years, let me know what what the basis is because when I first got them, I bought them as roots, non-GMO organic roots, and they were, um, it said that they could possibly put out daughter plants. Possibly. It didn't say that they're going to. I'm glad that they are, but wait till you see my house. I just bought another one of these rack systems about a week or two ago because there was no more room and they were producing like crazy. And you could see in one to two weeks time, once one of the vines go, and then another week passes, then you got this, so, and then it's like boom, boom, boom. So uh, it, awesome and cool, but it takes a lot of space up indoors. All right, so here's the original room where I had them. Uh, I think these two are original. Well, there was one here and one here. Now, really briefly here, this didn't daughter or baby, but after a couple months, I noticed that it has the one stalk there and then another stalk there and then over to the side, it kind of underground built another stalk. So technically it's three plants. It was one. This one kind of died on me all of a sudden. I'm not sure. It just died. Maybe it was exhausted. Uh, here's one of the berries. I picked berries off of that a few times. There's some more coming. And that's another thing. They're only supposed to produce summer and fall. And some of these that are getting going are producing like every, I don't know, I, every few weeks, every month. I'll pick that. I'll cut that thing off. Before I cut that off, um, sometimes a new one grows. I cut the last one just a couple days ago and that one was growing. So like this guy in here is growing and that's what's been going on and like this guy over here. And they've been burying consistently which is really cool. So you can see all these here and you can see like again here is like like I told you a baby. Now I broke a baby by accident and within two days that one came off. I uh, started to go again so now I got another one. I had broke that one right down in there. And then the baby, and then the baby, and then the baby, and then two babies. 
Um, so yeah, really, really cool. Um, and as you can see, they're everywhere. Oh, wow, I just found another one. See, like sometimes they're hard to see because they're tucked in behind everything. Now here's another one from this plant. This is more of a mature plant. And again, they're all within 15 months. I had, I think, those two, and then these two in there, and then mo two more. And then down here. And as you can see, I got these on the side because I got no room. Wait do you see what else I got to show you. These aren't the 90. So they're babying and babying and babying. And then what I noticed here is like, again, oh, wow, another one. See what I mean? So there was this one here. Now this is a, a three-er. So there's one, two, and then the third one. I could be up to like 100 by now. I, I, I don't know. They're just everywhere. They, they, they grow fast, too, really, really fast. All right, so I just jumbled this around tonight because of all this. And um, as you can see, and I bought this within two weeks because there was no more room so to do this and like I said I had just got 10 new pots in last week with this rack system and now I got to order like another 12 just to be safe and like you see here, here look at baby to baby and then to baby I just put that one in today and then this guy here to baby to baby let's see you got any more going in there no and then over there and over there and here's another one popping out over here right there so yeah they grow fast and um I don't know, I could have like a hundred of them by now, who knows. But um, once they all get going, and this one's producing fruit now. And this one's so young, that can't be more than a month old, not even. And it's already producing fruit. Sometimes they do that. Um, and other times, like, all these little guys are all the same, but you can see, like, look at how healthy this one is and growing compared to, see the size of that. And um, same thing, it's going to be hard to show you, but you see some of the little guys there. They're all technically the same, around the same age, within days to a week of each other. But some just decide to grow faster. I don't know why. Um, I haven't had any problems. I had that one die, and that was it. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. And um, man, strawberry fields, it's, it's amazing. It really is. And I'm sure, I mean, you see how many plants there are? I won't doubt that within two weeks that some of these little guys, all these little guys, they may start producing babies. I could have over a hundred two weeks from now. And if I can remember, once I post this video, um, I'll let you know in the description. But I wanted to post this. I wanted to post this because this was amazing. You know, I just never seen anything like this. Now here, let me get this one down from above here. These two here, the one I'm showing you, this guy and this guy were put in at the same time. And this guy hasn't had any babies yet. Um, but they're identical. They almost look actually identical to the way they grew. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share this. Um, and if anybody has a lot of strawberry knowledge, let me know what you think about all this. Um, especially the burying consistently. Like if I pick berries and then within a week, another one of those stems pops up and starts producing berries. And it keeps on going. Um, so that's really cool. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you this. Isn't that neat? One plant turns into what? See, four? Is that right? Four? One, two, three, four, five. Technically, it turns into five. Um, and who knows what will happen with these guys? It is awesome. All right. Thanks a lot. Love you. Bye.